today we are talking reefs. Hey guys, welcome back to Care DIY. What? Thanks for tuning in to day seven. And day seven is all about reefs. And I'm so excited to show you these because, I mean, aren't they just adorable? And it just makes me super excited that we are already on day seven. And I still have so much more that I want to show you guys. And let's be real. Christmas season is it. And these 12 days have prepared me for all that I have in store for this Christmas season. This 12 days is hosted by Simply Mendy. If you have missed anything that I've said about her, click the link up below so that you can get familiar with that amazing woman. What are you doing? If you missed the tutorial from yesterday, the description box will have a link for the video from yesterday. So make sure you check that out. If you missed this beautiful decor piece that I made out of paint sticks, Make sure you click the link down below so that you can check that out as well. But I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm not going to tell you any more until you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell down below so that you're notified each time I upload a video. And without further ado, because I know you are subscribed and I know that you are subscribing. Let's DIY, guys. Okay, the candy cane wreath and the green wreath and the Santa hat are all from the Dollar Tree. And the ribbon and the tool are from Michaels. So Dollar Tree, you guys need to step your ribbon and tool game up. So this part was really easy. You just want to start off by gluing the end piece of the ribbon to the wreath. And once you get that stuck on pretty tight, you just want to continue wrapping it around the wreath. But you kind of want to like layer it to where it's overlapping with a little twist, if that makes sense. So as you see here, I'm not exactly going in a straight line, but kind of like overlapping to give it a little swirl of a design. So you'll just want to do that all the way until you get to the end of the, the wreath. And it's pretty easy. You just twist and turn, twist and turn. And I glued as I went in certain spots just to give it a little extra security so it didn't unravel once I got to the end. Okay, so now we'll get to the floral arrangement. I ended up using a bow from the Dollar Tree and some floral from the Dollar Tree. You do need three twist ties or zip ties, not two. And you just wanna spread the floral arrangement part that you have. You wanna spread that apart a little bit so that it's kinda going over the wreath and not just in the middle of it. If you have the wreath spread out how you like, you wanna just add the zip tie to it. And the zip tie is basically just to keep the 
stems in place once you cut the longer part of it so that once you put the bow on the bottom part of the flower arrangement isn't showing so I took some wire cutters and I cut the bottom part so only the top part would really show but some of the stem is still left so that you can use the twist tie. You'll want to take the second zip tie and you'll want to put it through the flower and this next step is a little tricky but you'll want to kind of spread the ribbon in the middle part of the wreath back so that it exposes the the hard metal part of the wreath and you'll want to take the zip tie and loop it through where the metal piece is and kind of secure it through that way and pull tight so that the zip tie is nice and tight and secure with the flower and then cut the end of it and then put the ribbon back in place and then you'll take the third zip tie and you'll attach the bow to the actual flower the Santa wreath you'll want to put the hat on and you'll mark where you'll stop the tool and you want to just kind of wrap the tool around the entire part of the bottom part of the wreath so that less of the green part is showing through so that takes a little bit of time you'll just want to wrap and wrap and like kind of bunch it together so that more of the tool is going on to the wreath get to your marked line you'll want to take the tool all the way across to the other side and kind of make a knot and that'll kind of signify where your wreath will begin and end then you'll take some pieces of the tool I did about eight inches each piece and you'll want to just start wrapping it around the wreath and you just want to make little knots so just knots and then spread out the tool when I first started the wreath I made smaller length of pieces of tool but as I started to go I realized that I wanted it to be a little bit bigger so that it was fuller so I went and made them a little bit longer and basically I just made them longer and then I continued to go with the knots all the way down through the wreath You can make the wreath as full or as less full as you want. It's totally up to you. Don't forget to add tool in the middle part where the wreath ends and begins. And that's it. Just fluff it out, add the hat, glue it down, and that's it. There you have it. Two wreaths that you can use for the holiday season. I hope you enjoyed. I mean, how easy was that? How cute are these? That's it, that's day seven. So happy that you guys were able to tune in with me. I'm so happy to have been able to show you what I have cooked up for day seven. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell. Don't forget to check out the other ladies in this collab. I will list them down below, their YouTube pages. Check out their Instagram pages. Follow me on Instagram. All of the information is down in the description box below. Comment down below. Tell me what wreaths you're looking into this year. What you have planned for your front door, your side door, your back door. Even in your living room. I've seen wreaths in living rooms before as regular decor. So if you missed my tutorial yesterday, click this right here so that you can go right to that video. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 8.